Professional matchmaker Samantha Daniels, welcome to Love Samantha Daniels Style. For the next for the next 30 minutes, we are going to be talking about dating, sex, love, romance, and relationships. For those of you who don't know me, I am a professional matchmaker, and what that means is each and every day I talk to people about dating, sex, love, and romance and relationships. I help them get into relationships. I help them get out of relationships. I do anything and everything that they need to help them have a better relationship. So here today in the room, you can ask me anything that you're thinking about with regard to relationships. I'm going to be telling some different stories, reading some questions that people have emailed in during the week. And if you have a question or you have a comment, please raise your hand and I will call on you. And you can ask me anything you want. Um, or comment any way that you want. So, the first thing that I'm going to talk to you about is something that somebody brought up to me recently, and that's what happens when you reconnect with a love from the past. Do you think that that's a good thing? Do you think that that's a bad thing? Do you think that you can get into a relationship with somebody that you've dated in the past? I want to talk a little bit about that. What do you all think? Because I think that it seems like a pretty interesting circumstance. When you come in touch, when you get in touch with somebody after a really long time, you haven't seen them in a while, but you have some history with them. You remember what it used to be like. There's a lot of things to reminisce about. Yet, at the same time, you're getting to know them as a new person. So what you're bringing into the circumstance is is a history and a comfort level, but at the same time, excitement and newness in any situation. So we have the true munchkin saying that it depends why you broke up in the first place. Well, my question to all of you is, is, do you really think it matters why you broke up in the first place? Because let's say it was 10 or 15 years ago. If it was 10 or 15 years ago, don't you think that people really change in that time period. They grow up, things change and become different. And so don't you think that you really need to see what it's all about right now? Or do you think that leopards can't really change their spots? And whatever it was in the past, it's going to be in the present or the future. So I have a client right now who's dealing with that very issue. She dated uh, somebody when she was in her early 20s, and now she's in her late 30s, and she's reconnected with him, and she's trying to figure out whether or not it makes sense for her to start dating somebody who she dated 15 years ago. Why did they break up? I think they broke up because they were just too young to really focus on being in a serious relationship. Now I'm going to pause for a second. Boy 143, if you want to ask a question, all you have to do is raise your hand, um, and I'll be happy to take the question and answer it as best as I can. And in the meantime, while you're working through that, if you don't have a mic, you can type it right there on the screen, and I'll be happy to read it out loud and answer it. Uh, so getting back to my client, so she dated this guy 15 years ago, and now 15 years later, they ran into each other very fortuitously started spending time together and hanging out and getting to know each other. And they keep remembering what it was like in the past, and now they're trying to figure out what it will be like in the present and in the future. So I think that it's pretty an pretty interesting situation. But I have said to her that she really needs to spend some time thinking about what it's really like here and now. Because a lot of times we can get caught up with the nostalgia of the past. And a lot of times when we look back on the past, the past is always perfect. A lot of us, I know I am, a revisionist historian. So you remember back to what it was like in the past, and maybe it was really crappy in the past and you didn't get along at all, or maybe he was mean to you, or the sex was bad, or you didn't have a lot to talk about. But it was 15 years ago, so when you remember back on it, everything seems great. But the truth is, is everything isn't always great in the past. So you really need to think about 
what was it really like? And if you really can't remember what it was like, then you need to think about, well, what is it like right now? Who am I right now, and how am I different today than I was 15 years ago? So this woman says, you know what? I wasn't really ready for that kind of relationship when I was 25, and now she's 39, and she's trying to figure it out. So my question is, is she ready for a relationship right now? How is she different now than she was at 25? She said that when they were dating and they were 25, that it was always focused on sex. It was sex 24-7 all the time. That was the mainstay of their relationship. So I say to her, you know what? Sex is important. Sex is good. But that's not going to be the mainstay of an adult relationship. People who are in their 30s and in their 40s and in their 50s who are getting involved with each other need to think about all different things, all different considerations about who they're going to pick as somebody to go into the future with. So it can't just be about sex. Sex is nice, but it needs to be about commitment, honesty, communication, connection, lots of different things. So I think that that's really important to think about as you're going